Hey everyone, Michelle here, the Brave Homeschooling Mama. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. A little bit about myself. I am a school teacher turned homeschool mom. I have two kids and I help new homeschooling parents by making video videos about curriculum and day-to-day homeschool. Today I have another review for you all as part of the homeschool review crew. Today I am reviewing Smartic, the online math program. So if you're interested in finding out more what it is and how I use it with my child, make sure you stay tuned. So I was given Smart Tech as an exchange for a review for the next six months. Make sure when you're done watching this video, you check the link below so you can, so you can see everyone's bl uh, blog or blog that's reviewing this Smart Tech so you can see what everyone has to say and how everyone used them with their child. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna be looking down as I tell you a little bit about the program. So Smart Tech, it, it is an adapt adaptive online program for kids from between four to 14 years old and to help them with their math. If you have a child that struggles with math, this is a wonderful program. And also if you have a child that's good at math, you want them to advance a little bit more and to sharpen their skills. This is a wonderful online program for them to use. One of the great things about this program that is completely independent, you, it is not parent intensive. So. When your child is working with, with this program, they do it independent without help from the parent. So how this program works, at the beginning they got uh, an assessment. So my daughter did an assessment, I put her age, and they and she did an assessment. Um, each, each day your, your child is only going to work in this uh, online program for 15 minutes. That's it, that's all they work between four to five days a week. The first, did, the first thing they did, she did an assessment. So the artificial intelligence in the program worked through what, what, what she got wrong and what she got right and it started to adapt to you know, her, her, you know, her program based on how she answered the questions on that first day. So it keeps you know, doing that you know, depending on how she answers the questions or how fast or how slow she, she answers the question. It, it, it builds upon, up and upon that and it kind of builds her, her program based on how she answers the questions. Um, like I said, it's only 15 minutes a day that your child has to do and it has a little timer. So once that timer is done, your child is done working for the day. Um, my child, you know, she struggles with math and she does not like math. So having that little timer is great because she knows how much she has left and it's only 15 minutes a day they can improve their, their math skills by just, like I said, 15 minutes a day, which is wonderful. So when they're doing this math, they're not just working on on math. Yeah, they're working on math. You know, their their math facts, but they're also working on their on their mental agility. They're working also on some you know concentration. They're doing some reading comprehension. There's all also in all these things your child is working with as they're working through the program. Also. One of the things, you know, they're working on logic, they're working on coding and some problem solving. So like I say, the parent, it is not parent intensive at all. The parent, you shouldn't help your child because if they get the answer right, and it, it but, but they still, you know, they, they don't know how to do it. So because they, you know, their program, it kind of, it works through what they get right or wrong. So it kind of adapts to what they're doing. So if you help them, they're not going to get an accurate reading of what your child knows or what they need to continue to work on. One of the wonderful things as they, and I'm going to show you everything. I'm going to, you know, turn the camera around and show you how this works and show you the parent section. But I want to talk to you all a little bit about it first. Uh, so, so the program, once your child does a program, is show if, if they have a mistake, they'll show them how to do the problem, how to, how to get, you know, what the right answer is. So hoping as, the, as your child works on the same problems, as they will work through them, they will be able to get them right the next time because they're showing them how to do them the correct way. And the program, and the problem problems will look the same as they work through through the program they get their right answer so they're hoping for the next time and a couple of times and after they do it they will get the right answer when they do it again okay so I'm going to share with you a five things that I loved about what I like five things that I really like about this program and then I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around so I can show you the kids section I can show the parents section one of the things that I love is this completely independent. My child sits down, she knows how to give her, she's, you know, 13, so she knows even my little one. He, he didn't he didn't use it as much as my, you know, 13 year old. Uh, he's still five, I'm having a hard time just getting him doing independent work. But my, my, you know, 13 year old work on this program uh, four times a week. And she, I think she has improved tremendously in her math, uh, and I and I see her, you know, improve through through the the grade because each after each lesson they get, you know, a like a grade a percent. And the first one that she did, it was based on her age, and she had a hard time. But he, like I say, keeps adapting to what she knows and what she's learning, and she's being improving her her score. 
Um, I, that's it. I, I like this independent. My child does it. She does it on her own. Second thing that I like is send me, uh, it emails me daily reports. So after she's done with her lesson, I can go and look in my email. It tells me exactly how she did for that day, the things that she worked on. So I think that is great. I don't even have to go in the computer. I can just read my email. Uh, I can see, you know, I can go ahead and I'll show you all this so you can understand what I'm talking about a little bit better. I can go ahead for each day and I can see everything that she got right or wrong. And I can go and see the ones that she got wrong and I can see exactly what the answer that she put in there. So I can see what her thought process is and how she She's answering all these questions and I can see the pattern of the one that she's getting wrong so it's great another thing that I love is it adjusts to her needs so if it's something that she needs to continue to work they, they keep working on the uh, on the same problem on the same type of activity so it adjusts every day it adjusts to what what she needs so I think that's great. And one thing that I love, how simple the parent section is. Sometimes you get some, uh, you know, programs, you go into the parent section, it's hard to understand, hard to see, how to, to read what, what, what you're looking at. And it's just very simple. And again, I'll show you, it'll, it'll tell me her grade or, or the score that she got for the day. It'll, I'll see a list of everything she did that day and what she did got right and what she did wrong. Very simple. Uh, one of the things, and I'll show you also that as in there, you know, I can leave her in you know, a little notes of encouragement that she can open up and and there's also a part where I can give them you know you know little prizes like I, I can give her a challenge in there too so there are challenges that you can give to your kids and also just little notes of encouragement so I think that's great so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn the camera around so you can see what the program is all about and I can show you the kids section I can show the parents section and how the program works and like I said I am loving it my child is actually loving it my non-math loving child my child is struggles with math is really enjoying this math program so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the camera around so I can show you what what it looks like and how you use it with your children when you log in you go into the website this is gonna be your main page your student will log in here and I will show a quick little clip at the end of my daughter doing a logic lesson and this is how you log in as a parent so you go ahead and enter with your password and then you have here are your two kids that are using this program. Right now, only my daughter. I wanted my son to do it, but he's five. He wasn't really interested, so I didn't push. Um, so I only did it with my daughter. She's been doing it for about, well, about a month and a half, for about four days a week. So here on the side, you have your account, your profile, notifications, uh, subscriptions, payments, and tutorials. Okay. So I'm going to show you when I go into my daughter's section. So I click here and it shows me all the sessions that she has done okay so like you can see she's done about four a week last week we had a, a weird week when it we had kind of a fall, fall break so we you know she only did it one day so if you click on a lesson I'm gonna click on a lesson here on the 16th so it gives you what percentage she made and then how you know how fast was she answering you know the questions that's the speed and then you can go ahead and you can review the session so it tells you here by you know, percentage how she did in each section. So in here it says timetables and divisions, she had 87%, she was fast, and the number of exercises that she did. You have addition and subtraction equations, she did 54%, 57%, she a little bit too slow, there were se seven questions that she answered. But here she got 100%, so she has pattern, rational numbers, word problems, and or problems with measurements. So you can see how she did in each section. I love that I can come down here and see in the first section and I can see all the problems that she did, okay? And I can see the ones that she got wrong. And I can go look at it, the problems that she got wrong, and then I'll be able to see exactly what, you know, even she didn't answer or she put the wrong, you know, or she, she put the wrong answer and then it gives me that, you know, solution. So, so then I can look at it, see the pattern and how she's doing. Okay, so I can click on the ones that she got wrong, and I really like that. So I can go here, let me see what else, um, I'm going to show you, I can go here into the settings, okay, this is where I'm, so I can show them my account, this is where I am. So when you go into profile, I don't want to go in there and show it because it has my phone number and everything, but you can go and it shows you your your password, your email, or all your information in there. Then we have uh, not notifications, okay? One of the things I think I showed you 
that uh, it, oh, I, I told you before that you can, it, it sends you an email every day after they're done and if they don't do it, they also send you an email. Then you can go and have your subscription and it tells you how long you have your, your trial for, how, much, how long you have your subscription for, you can see your payments and the tutorials and here the different tutorials that your child sees. So when you click on your child and you're in this section where it has a calendar and I watch they have completed, you can go in here and look at their progress in here. So I see how, how much they have worked and what has been open or not open. Okay, so you can see here she finished her counting, she finished, uh, she's working on number and operations. In here she has an unlocked fractions or decimals or expression and equations and she's working on all these other ones. Then we have the motivation and this is where I think I mentioned before where you can keep and add little messages you know for them to open and also any rewards that you want to add for your children okay and then here you have diplomas so they get a diploma whenever they they finish you know a section so she already got a diploma in here and I'll keep adding up so these are the different ticks that she has earned. She's able to go ahead and play games and do some activities. She hasn't been interested in doing that. So she still has all her ticks, 134 ticks that she earned, but she can go ahead and, and you can like change a little avatar and do you know different activities, but she really did not do that. So if you go in the in the profile section, I will not show you. It has it has you know the kid's birthday. And if your child has a disability, you can let the the you know, program know. Then we have our house smart tick brain. You can go here and play. So they have you know different games that the child can play. But like I said, she's not in, she didn't use she didn't do this part. But you can go ahead and let me show you something really quick. She did not want to do the games, but she just do the lessons. And she will start here number one. The Martians on this planet are crazy. They play by peeking out of holes. When you see this symbol, you need to say if the Martian peeking out of the hole is the same one that came out of that hole before. Okay, so you can see there's just old games and things that they can do. My daughter has not explored this part. We have. Also here in the corner has a number uh, where you, did, you know you can call it if you have any questions. Um, I made a one day I made a change in her in her profile and they called me to just to make sure that that change was approved by me. So I thought that was pretty neat. So you might get a call if you make any changes and in, in the in the program to make sure that you know, it, it wasn't the child that made the change. You'll go ahead and, and get those. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure when you're done watching this video, you check the link below so, every, so you can uh, watch or read everyone's review. Also make sure, make sure you go ahead and check out uh, Smart Take. I'll leave a link for that also. And also make sure you don't follow me on Facebook and Instagram to make sure you do so for more homeschooling ideas and motivation. I will